And with our surge in cases, schools are asking parents to limit their children's exposure over spring break. Several restaurants and institutions, such as the DIA, have also decided to close their doors for the next week. But we begin tonight with our Mar McDonald at Ford Field. And Mara, let's talk about the vaccine process there. How'd it go today? Well, there was an issue, Kimberly, in that a lot of people, about 75, sort of showed up here freestyling it, hoping they would have some extra vaccines left over. Let me show you. After missing out on that opportunity that popped up late yesterday, some people decided to wing it and hang out at Ford Field, hoping there would be enough no shows today so extra vaccine was available and they could get it. Figured it's worth a shot. And, you know, if it doesn't work out, not a big deal. But uh, at least we can say, and it's kind of cool just to be a part of this too, to see it firsthand. Not everybody was as chill as Rob. If you don't have an appointment, you have to leave. That's not cool, man. When police told the crowd of about 75 there would be no walk-ins today because they were overbooked, some people gave police a really hard time and didn't want to leave. And that's a problem because people waiting in line who have no appointment slow the process down for the people who do. If you do want to roll the dice, wait in your car or stand away from the entrance. Frustration levels are rising along with our COVID numbers. St. Clair County's Health Department sending out an alert tonight recommending work from home and strict mitigation strategies for businesses that require in-person workers. And Wayne County School Superintendents have sent out a unified call asking parents to please keep their children socially distanced over next week's spring break. They don't want to have to go back to full remote learning if the cases continue to rise. With the higher community spread right now, we really need everybody to pitch in to help out uh, stay masked and, and stay socially distanced outside of the school day. Back here live, something to consider over the coming days. Don't be surprised if you see businesses and some attractions decide that they just are going to voluntarily shut down to foot traffic. The DIA has decided to do it and close to foot traffic until April 2nd. And I think it's important to put some of these numbers in some sort of context so people understand what the issue is. For example, just looking at Wayne County, in January, 5.9% of the COVID cases were hospitalized. So far in March, that number is up to 32%. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.